So another question I'm asked quite often is, we know we need live video. We know that the, the impact that the live video is gonna have on our VDP pages, on our conversion rates, on the number of leads that we're getting. But man, it's a process. You know, what do we, um, you know, we, we already have somebody who's taken 40, 50 pictures of the car today. Um, you know, now we've got to try to get one of our salespeople or a BDC person, or uh, do I have to hire a videographer? What do I got to do now to get somebody to shoot the live video? And understanding that the key to implementing a successful strategy of any kind is the path of least resistance. So the best strategy would be to try to utilize technology that exists out there where you can actually just give a camera, a video camera, to your photographer. Let your photographer walk around the car and shoot the video. They're already at the car. They're already touching the car when they're taking their photos. Let them walk around the car, let them do the, uh, the video at the same time, and technology can add the audio layer. Then someone could actually come back in at a later time if you wanted to and put a customized audio layer on top of it. But in most cases, you really don't even need to do that. You've already got the video, you've got the live video, you've got the audio layer. You're going to have an increased conversion, an increased uh, engagement conversion with that video versus your stitched photos. The other cool thing about it is we know it can take 15, 20 minutes for uh, your photographer to take his 40, 50 pictures of the car, pull the car out, you know, the entire process. Well, if you have your photographer shooting the video, there's actually technology that allow that will now let you extract your still photos, 40, 60, 80 still photos from the video so your photographer doesn't have to do both. That's all a video is. A video is 30 still pictures stitched together in, for, for every second of video. So those photos, are the, you're taking photographs and a video of the exact same features. So you really don't have to do both. It takes maybe two and a half, three minutes to shoot a video walk around. It may take a little longer, five minutes or so, the first second, uh, first couple of times that they're, that they're doing it. But once they get their process down, just like it did with the photos, once they get the process down, it's only gonna take a couple of minutes and boom, you've got your live video, you've got 40, 60, 80 still photos, and you've got a better ad from top to bottom and now your photographers are even taking less time per car than what they were taking before.